Friends, today is Tuesday, March 14, 2023. We have a short passage from John 14, uh, 9 through 11. And um, John 14 is a important passage in the story of, uh, in, in the consideration of the relationship between Christianity and other religions. And I'm going to take a little a bit here. I want you to read, if you have time, the, the first eight verses as well. But I'm going to start with verse 9. Because Jesus has claimed that when we see him, we see the Father. And um, Philip has said, show us the Father and we'll be satisfied. And Jesus says, how have I been with you all this time? This is verse 9. And you don't know me? Because whoever seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? You don't believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me. The words that I say to you, I don't speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me does his works believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me. And if you don't, believe because of the works themselves. This is the word of the Lord. Well, here we are up against it again, this scandal of particularity that at one particular place within the historical stream, uh, at one particular time uh, in the life of one particular man, uh, God has given us truth that applies to every time and place. Truth about life and death and about his own nature and purposes. And then that's a, that's a sort of theoretical scandal, but the scandal gets worse when we see what he reveals. That the picture of God that we have in Jesus is a God who would downsize himself um, and his power and his presence and, and, and then experience for himself the drama and trauma of human life, uh, including dependence. He, he's dependent as a child at his birth uh, for his survival on his parents. And then he would go through suffering and death um, this is a counterintuitive picture of the God who created the heavens and the earth. It, it, that he would choose to do this and in so doing take responsibility for the waywardness of his creatures is a shocking thing. It, it turns, yet it turns the whole cosmic reality into a love story. I wonder if you understand the story of the cosmos, not just your own life, but the story of the cosmos as a love story. Let's pray. In, in Jesus, we see a trinity. We see a Father, a Son, and a Holy Spirit. We see a creator and a redeemer and a restorer. We see a God who can be beyond us and also beside us in our history and within us. And Heavenly Father, you bring life out of death. You rule and yet you became a subject. You show your glory in weakness and your power in love. We praise you for these things. We thank you for them. And we pray that you'll deepen our understanding of them each and every day. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen.